Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome back to Magdalene's Craft. I am your tarot reader, Lily Magdalene or Lady Magdalene on Instagram. I'm going to do a collective reading for you guys. Like I said, I'm going to be trying to do a collective reading for you all at least once a week. And so I figure I'll go ahead and get this out of the way. I do have a pick a card plan later for you guys. Um, but before then, we're going to do a collective reading. I'm just kind of chilling in the bed right now. I don't really want to be in my office. I just woke up. So still kind of just want to be comfortable. <laughs> so let's get some collective messages for this collective reading that is timeless. Remember that these collective readings can be very specific. So if you feel like it just completely does not resonate for you, then this reading was not meant for you. Um, just remember to only take what resonates and to leave what doesn't, okay? We are using the Disney Villain Tarot deck. This was uh, given to me by Crest Moon Tarot. I've been using this deck a lot in my personal bookings and my personal readings. I love this deck. I'm really coming to love this deck. Again, sorry if I, I sound funny. I kind of felt like I was coming down with a cold yesterday. So let's get a collective message. Timeless collective message. Spirit, ancestor, guides, please come in and give us a collective message. Okay, so we have six of swords. Sometimes I have to sit here and count it because I don't always know all of my, I don't always know all of my Roman numerals. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the six of swords. Oh, duh, because V is five, V one is six. Okay, I'm still waking up, you guys. <laughs> so we have six of swords. For you guys with the six of swords, first I'm going to let you guys look at the imagery here real quick. I feel like there's a woman in your life that is trying to, it's like she's, there's a woman in your life that is trying to be burdensome or they are trying to be a burden within your life or they are trying to challenge you or create challenges within your life. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are on some sort of new path or either your life path. And this woman here, um, she definitely wants to cause some burdens, some challenges for you on your new path or you on your life path. It's like she's throwing these swords in your pathway. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, I have to, um, I can't really sit Indian style or my knees will start fucking up. So I'm like having to stretch out on my bed for you guys. I'm hearing that this woman in your life, she's, even though it sucks dealing with her or I'm hearing this woman could be annoying like a gnat or a fly, just, you know, like an insect, a pest that just keeps pestering you and pestering you. I feel like a, this woman is almost like an insect that is pestering you because she's kind of desperate for your attention or she's like desperate for a reaction out of you. Um, and that's why she tries to cause like burdens and challenges in your life and on your life path. Um, but I'm hearing that this person um, is more likely a karmic, whether it is a family, friend, or coworker, however it may resonate. Um, but this woman is definitely a karmic in your life. And the reason why she's in your life is to um, help you overcome something or help you. She, it's almost here like she's placed in your life to provide you with some sort of growth that you need. Um, in order to better your future here. 
So she's definitely in your life for a reason, even if she is like an annoying insect. <laughs> so for some of you, she may have a pet cat or she may like, she may like cats or she may have a pet cat. Um, but th this woman, this woman definitely evil eyes you. Whoever she is, she definitely sends you the evil eye here. I'm hearing she's trying to distract you mentally or she's trying to like fuck up your mental focus. Um, she's trying to use, yeah, this card is also represented by Aquarius and I feel like she's trying to use like mental games or some shit like that with you guys. This, this woman is definitely trying to play mental mind games with you. Um, could be an Aquarius or... If it's not an Aquarius woman, this woman's just trying to play like mental mind games with you. And for some of you, this woman could be older than you, but that doesn't have to resonate for everyone. Okay, so we have Page of Wands. Again, this is another confirmation that you guys have started some sort of new phase in your life or a new path or you just discovered your life path. Yeah, some of you... Okay, this woman is like evil eyeing you and causing you distractions and stuff and mental mind games because... You guys are like manifesting your way through life or you're manifesting a lot on this new path or this new journey that you're on. You guys, there's something very magical about you guys. You guys are very adventurous, ambitious. Um, you're, you have a specific skill set or you're very skilled in something. Uh, you're very active in what you do or either you're very energetic here. And it's just, it's helping you, whatever it is you're doing, you're like manifesting this, you know, whether it's a job that you have or a hobby or a project, um, you're very active or energetic with it. And you're very, there's something magical about it, or you guys are very magical or mystical here. Um, some of you, you're just, uh, you're putting hard work it's like your hard work um, that you're putting in is definitely paying off for you guys. This woman doesn't like to see your hard work pay off. She does not like to see your hard work pay off. She doesn't want you to manifest. She doesn't want other people to view you as like magical or powerful in however way that may resonate for you. Hang on. I feel like you guys are just kind of like minding your own business or you have been trying to mind your own business. Let's see, one, two, three, four, we, okay, so we have four of swords. This mother, this bitch is evil eyeing you guys. This bitch is completely evil eyeing you. This woman wants to cause delays in your life. Um, they, they want you to be sick or they want you to be alone. They want you to withdraw yourself. For some of you, this could be a... Um, I don't, it's like this person doesn't like what you're doing or either you guys are doing the same type of thing or you guys are in the same type of work or you guys like the same thing. It's going to be different messages for different people. But this person, if you guys are like in the same job or if you guys like the same thing or if you guys do the same thing, this person wants you to just up and leave it or rage quit. I don't know why I just heard rage quit, but I did. Um... It's like they want you to withdraw yourself from whatever it is you're doing. They want you to withdraw yourself from your life path. They literally want you to 
rage quit your life path here. This person like literally wishes illness and sickness on you. Um, they don't want to see you heal. They also don't want to see you help other people heal. They definitely want to see you have delays and obstacles within your life or either this, this woman tries to cause delays and obstacles in your life. Yeah, this woman wants you in complete solitude here. They want you to be unorganized. They don't like the fact that you have strength and they don't like the fact that you have self-respect. Again, sorry, I'm just like kind of laying on my bed. I'm still waking up. It's like 7, 7.30 in the morning or 7 in the morning. Okay, so we have seven of wands. <laughs> this bitch seriously evil eyes you because you're still, you guys are like really focused on the long-term goals or the long-term success. Um, you are really showing, again, this person hates how strong you are. They hate your inner strength. They hate that you keep defending yourself or pushing forward um, because, like I said, this person just wants you to, like, quit your fucking journey or quit your life path. And you're just, like, if this person tries to, like, throw insults or shade your way, you're kind of just, like, <laughs> dusting it off your shoulder. Maybe you are just, like, resisting the urge to, um fuck with this person or you're like resisting the urge to fight with this person or battle with this person i feel like you guys are just watching this person get really bothered by you whether it's like what you're doing what you're saying what you're creating um you're just watching this person steadily and constantly be bothered by you <laughs> also with this card this is telling me that this woman is trying to like rev up to it's like she's revving up to start some sort of fucking conflict with you so just be cautious beware that there may be conflict in the future because this woman is trying to plan conflict against you or with you but this is something you don't need to be afraid of you do not need to be afraid of this woman i'm hearing this woman um her i don't know why but i just heard I just heard her bark is louder than her bite. So this may be someone um, that just just yaps a lot about you or throws a lot of shade your way. Um, I'm getting this energy of like, you know how like Chihuahua dogs, they'll just like bark really loud and they Chihuahua dogs always seem to think that they're like bigger than a fucking tree, even though they're tiny as shit. And it's like the... This woman just, like, barks like a fucking chihuahua. Like, she yaps like a chihuahua. She's always, like, flapping her fucking mouth about you guys. Or, um, she, I'm hearing for some of you, this woman is, like, a gossip queen. I feel like every obstacle that she tries to throw your way, you guys overcome, like, any shade that she throws your way. Um, you overcome any kind of challenge or obstacle that she tries to throw your way. She just really doesn't want you guys to believe in yourselves here. She wants you to um, have some sort of self-doubt within yourself. It's like she doesn't like the fact that you guys have the courage to keep fighting or to keep going or to keep working. Uh, no matter what challenges you guys face or whatever challenges she tries to make in your life. You guys don't... It's like you guys are more focused on your future and like your long-term success, your long-term goals. And I don't know, I feel like this woman is like weirdly obsessed with you. Like she's obsessed with wanting to start drama with you or she's obsessed with like sh throwing shade your way. 
this person, okay, I'm hearing this person is a part of a group that doesn't like you. Like this, this woman gang stalks you with other people here. Hey, baby cat. <laughs> Yeah, this woman definitely gang stalks you guys with other people. I get like this competitive type of energy. It's like really petty. Again, this this woman just like goes off. Like I just I keep hearing like a chihuahua barking. This woman may own a chihuahua dog. Or maybe this woman has the personality of a chihuahua dog. I don't know. You guys will have to tell me in the comments. <laughs> this person, this woman also evil eyes your home and your home life. Some of you have um, a business, uh, like an at-home business, and this woman evil eyes that. Or she tries to throw shade at it or um, just to, tries to throw obstacles your way to where like your at-home business will fail. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we have the eight of coins. I really feel like this is like, okay, with eight of coins, this is about like your career or like your apprenticeship or like something that you're working on. Um, so again, like this person is gang stalking whatever it is you're working on or they're gang stalking you at your job. Um, or either this person may have the same job as you or the same type of business as you or you guys like create the same thing or there's something about you two. You may have like similarities with this person or people, because I feel like this woman is seriously, like, gang-stalking you with other people here. And I feel like they enjoy this. Like, they laugh about it. They think it's cute. They think it's funny. Um, but, um, they just don't have a fucking life. They gotta, like, I don't know. I think they think it's funny to gang-stalk you, and I feel like they, um... Like, they talk shit about you behind your back or they talk shit about, like, your business or whatever it is you're doing for work. This person um, will make fun of, like, okay, say, I'm just using this as an example. But say you had an Etsy shop and you were creating stuff on Etsy. This person um, would, like, make fun of what your products look like or make fun of your products or whatever it is you're designing or making. Um... For some of you, this is at school. Like, this is happening at your college and not your workplace. So, um, different messages for different people. Yeah, because for some of you, you're going to school or college with these people. Honestly, I'm hearing that they're, like, gossiping and crackling up and fucking gang-stalking you. Because you guys have a set of skills that they do not have or that they wish that they had. Because you guys are, like, developing your talents here. And you, you guys are gaining a lot of success while you're developing your talents. You're gaining a lot of success through your hard work and efforts. Um, some of you are gaining success through investing in yourself. And these people are just, like, gang-stalking because, one, they're obsessed with you or what you're creating. They can throw shade at it, like, all day long, but the truth is they're watching it constantly because they like it, okay? They, they won't admit to each other that they like it. They won't admit to themselves that they like what you do. But, honey, they like what you do because they can't even get the fuck off your dick, okay? They cannot get off your dick. They stay watching, they stay hating, they stay gang stalking because uh, they wish that you they had your talent or your skills or um, your creativity with what you make or sell. Um,
These people are just jealous. Or they can't admit to um, liking what you do or what you create. Or they can't admit that you have a better skill set than them. So it makes them feel better when they when they do these things. These people are really competitive. Like it's total like high school energy. I don't really understand how grown ass adults can act like this, but they still fucking do. Some of these people are making fun of like whatever um, you're going to college for. Like say you're going to college for like something to do with art. These people are like, like making fun of you because you're going to college for art or something that's like non-conventional. Like I don't feel like you guys would be going to school for like nursing or some shit like that. Like if you're in college, you guys are in college for something specific. And it's like these people may be um, throwing shade at you or talking shit because of what you chose to go to college for. They're just jealous that you might actually create, that you are creating success or that you might create se success with what you're going to college for. And maybe it's something like artistic or creative. They're just jealous that they don't have that opportunity or that they won't get that type of success. So again, different messages for different people here. <laughs> and we have justice. They're doing this shit because they feel like it's not fair. They feel like you're doing something that's not fair. And I'm not saying that's true, but like in their eyes, they feel like something isn't fair. Whether it's the opportunities you're getting, the success you're getting, um, the schooling that you're getting, whatever it is, however it resonates, they feel like it's not fair. I'm hearing for some of you, I don't know who this is for, but for some of you, this person feels like you cheated them out of a job position or cheated them out of a job or cheated them out of some sort of money. It's like they're doing this because they feel like they're creating some kind of balance within a situation. Um, for some of you, this person or people may be trying to cause you legal matters uh, for a specific few of you. Uh, this woman may be trying to cause uh, legal issues for you. I'm hearing these people, this main woman here, they, they feel like some. this main woman feels like something isn't fair. And I feel like whoever she's gang stalking you with, they feel the same way. For some of you, they're doing this. This woman's doing this because she's not getting paid the same amount you are. This this woman is evil eyeing you and causing this bullshit because you may be getting paid more than her. Um, you may be getting more money or more success or something like that than her. Even if y'all are doing the same thing, even if you're like, um, in the same, uh, classes or in the same job position. Um, like for an example, like if you were to have a job, like when you're on a telephone making sales, maybe you're making more sales than this person. Like say if you two were like telemarketers or something like that, um, you have the same job, but you, you guys are getting more sales than this person and they just feel like it's not fair. Like things aren't balanced. They feel like you guys should be making equal pay or the same amount, but you're not. Like you guys are either doing better than them or you're getting more success than them or you're getting more money than them. Even though you guys are the same, if that makes sense. Again... <laughs> They kind of look like little chihuahua dogs, too. I keep hearing all bark, no bite. This is the type of person, this is the type of woman 
that will like throw shade, talk shit, whatever. But at the end of the day, they ain't shit. <laughs> it's just a yappy dog running the mouth, running at the mouth. Like I'm sorry, like this woman can run her mouth on you guys all day long, but it's not gonna make her fucking bank account any bigger. It's not gonna make her opportunities better. So we have six of cups. <laughs> For some of you, this woman may try to give you an apology. It's going to be a fake apology or this woman has given you a fake apology. Um, For some of you, this woman, if, if they didn't give you a fake apology, this woman is someone who is like some sort of past associate or I'm here. Okay. For some of you, this woman is a associate of someone in your past that you had a falling out with. So it's like, okay. Okay. So you guys have had a falling out with someone in the past and that person that you had a falling out with, it could be the, what is this, five, six, seven of wands. You might have had a falling out with a Leo. Because seven of wands is a Leo card. And there's a lion right here too. I feel like you guys might have had a falling out with a Leo in the past. And now this Leo has this associate who is either an Aquarius or they just like to play a lot of fucking mind fuck mental games. This woman from your past has some f associate or friend or partner, you know, however it may resonate. And uh, it's almost like an owner and their little chihuahua dog, okay? I feel like you guys might have had a falling out or beef with someone in the past. And now that that's over with, that person that you had a beef with now has a friend or an associate or a, a partner or a business partner and they're um they're the little bitty dog okay it's like these people that are gang stalking you it's like um someone it's literally like whoever you had a falling out with has people around them that are like little chihuahua dogs and they just yap and yap and try to attack you yeah it's like this main this main woman that you had a falling out with um she doesn't want to attack you herself or fuck with you herself or throw shade at you herself so she's getting her little yappy dog associates or friends to come at you and do it for her this woman is literally sicking a fucking chihuahua at you guys. Because this, this bitch that's causing you guys, like, annoy, annoyance. Like I said, I feel like this woman is annoying or a pest. <laughs> it's just, uh, I'm trying to explain it in my head. And I hope I'm explaining it right. Because I am, like, half awake, you guys. But it's like seeing someone sick a chihuahua dog after someone like what the fuck is that dog gonna do yap at me very loudly the only thing i've ever seen chihuahuas do is just yap really loudly and then eventually they put their tail in between their legs and they go piss in a fucking corner because they end up being a weak little coward no offense to anyone that has chihuahuas. Personally, I really don't like chihuahuas. <laughs> I love my Pomeranian. I love Pomeranians. And I love terriers. I'm more of a cat person. But um, I don't just like dogs or anything like that. I just, I really, I just don't like chihuahuas. I'm going to be straight up and honest with you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry for anyone that has a chihuahua that sees this. I just don't like them. I don't like that type of breed. 
Because they're fucking, no offense, but like they're annoying. And that's how I feel like this person is. This little friend or associate is just a fucking annoying pest that just does not shut up. It just yaps and yaps and yaps. Um, they want to feel big. They want to feel bad. They want to feel bold. It like feeds their ego to fucking yap at you or to throw shade at you. Because this, this person does not just evil eye you. Like, this person definitely throws shade, throws obstacles, throws challenges into your path. This is definitely, like, someone at your school or someone at your job. Or um, someone online that, like, does the same thing as you. Or has, like, the same business as you. Yeah, it's a little little group of gang stock and chihuahuas. <laughs> we have the Empress. I hope for some of you guys, I hope this is not your mother doing this shit. <laughs> I hope it's not your mother that's like embodying this energy that I'm picking up on. Um, you'll have to let me know in the comment section. Um, for some of you, this person may evil eye you because of the fact some of you are mothers or you could be just like a motherly figure or motherly type of energy. Ooh, ooh, I'm just here. I just heard that someone, like, this person wants to, like, be you. You guys, I don't mean to creep you out, but this is, like, giving me some, like, Buffalo Bill energy. Like, it puts the lotion on the fucking skin type of shit. Like, this person would wear your skin or some shit, <laughs> like, or take your hair and wear your hair. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just giving examples. I, they, I don't think they would, like, literally do that. But it's like this person wants to be you or to have something you have or to have the opportunity that you have or the success that you have. For some of you, this person just literally wants to look like you or to be like you. Because I feel like this is the type of person that if, they were in your bedroom alone. They would probably, like, fucking steal your clothes or try on your clothes and, like, pretend to be you for a day. Like, it's just weird fucking energy. This person... Oh God. For some of you, this person uh, may be trying to copy you or be, like, a copycat or imitate you for some of you. And for others of you, this person, they want to take your new beginning for themselves. For others of you, this person that you had a falling out with in the past, um, this person that you had a falling out with in the past is trying to create a new opportunity um, for this woman down here that has been throwing shade your way or trying to throw obstacles or challenges your way. They are getting a new opportunity in life or a new position in life because of the because of some kind of help that they're getting from this woman that you had a falling out with. I'm hearing for some of you, um, the little chihuahua associate, little chihuahua friend. For some of you, this this bitch has a crush on you. I don't know if she's lesbian or bisexual, but for some of you, she has a crush on you. Which is weird because it's like if you have a crush on someone, it's like that high school energy of like, um, you know, like when a, a boy would like poke you in the rib over and over and be like, ha ha, you know, or like tease you in school or some shit because they liked you. I'm getting that energy for a select few of you that this woman, um, I don't know if you guys are gay or bisexual or straight or what, but I feel like for some of you, this woman may have like a crush on you. Okay, so we have nine of swords. I feel like um, 
either this this friend or associate from someone you had a falling out with in the past either her or the whole group it's like they want to cause some sort of accident for you they want you um to be in mental anguish by the mental mind fucking games that they're playing with you um they want to put you through depression grief paranoia anxiety um, they want you to be up all night. They don't want you guys sleeping. They want you guys to have issues with your sleep uh, so that you're not performing well or working well or studying well. I'm seeing the imagery of like when Julius Caesar gets stabbed by a shit ton of people. I hope to God this ain't like some of y'all's friends, like a group of fake friends that you guys have, but... Because I'm seeing like a Caesar moment here of like everyone just trying to stab you in the back. All right, so we have seven of swords. Yeah, they're coming. They're trying to damn stab you like fucking Caesar over here. You just over here conquering shit, being successful. Can't have that, can you? <laughs> and what sucks for you guys, too, is like, I feel like you're trying to avoid this shit. Like, you're trying to avoid this person or these people or this group of people. Or you guys are trying to avoid confrontation with them, but it's like, I feel like this friend or associate from the person you had a fallen out with this, like they keep trying to bring it to you. They can like, they may add like, they may play mind games to where they may try to look innocent or like they don't really want to fuck with you or they don't have the time of the day for you or to drama, but yet that you're still, all, you're still everything that they talk about. They're still throwing shade at you. They're still judging you. They're still laughing at you. They're still trying to throw obstacles in your way, but they don't care about, they swear all day, every day that they don't care about you or this woman does. <laughs> and I feel like, again, you've been trying to avoid this woman, but she comes around like a pestering gnat or a pestering fly. And she just, she just, <laughs> and I feel like you can't really avoid it because for some of you, you go to school with this person or you go to work with this person or you have to see this person. It's almost like some of you can't avoid it. And what sucks for some of you is like, for some of you, this could be a friend or, you know, someone that you think you're kind of cool with or chill with, but it, they're not. They're, they're, a, they're a hidden enemy. They're an unknown opponent here. Um, it's like they don't want to come off like they're your opponent, but yet they're making it very clear through their yappy chihuahua barks. Like, how are you going to try to pretend like you're not an, a, an, a, an opponent when you're coming at you, when they're coming at you, like loud as fuck yapping away? And that's all they talk about. So how are you going to pretend and act like you're not an, an opponent or an enemy when, you, when you're doing this fucking nine of swords shit all the time? Heavy evil eye all over this. Very heavy gang stalking. This is more than one person. And that's why I'm, I apologize that this reading is kind of scattered everywhere. Because at first I just saw the one woman. And then I saw um, another woman and then like a group of people here. So you guys take it how it resonates for you. This, kind, this reading was kind of all over the place and scattered. Because um, again it turned from like one person to like a few people. I really feel like you guys are being gang stalked. You really are. Oh, you guys, I'm stupid. This is actually the Seven of Swords. Um, I mean, the Eight of Swords. I kept saying, thinking the Seven of Swords, but it's Eight of Swords. Which, I mean, the Eight of Swords is not good either. So, <laughs> um, regardless, I feel like whatever messages I'm getting and seeing uh, is going to resonate for you guys. Um, but since this is the Eight of Swords, again, they're trying to like restrict you. They, this is another sign that they're trying to cause obstacles in your way. And I really feel like with this card, they're trying to gaslight you. Like they're trying to cause illusions 
or to com or some sort of like confusion here. They're they are definitely trying to gaslight you. It's like they come at you and attack you and fuck with you, but then they re retract themselves and act innocent or like they don't care. And you're just like, what in the fuck? You know, for some of you, I feel like these people or this woman or this person has really um, frustrated you. Like, I feel like it's not even like it's really bothering you or affecting you in a really horrible way or anything. It's just at this point, it's just annoying and stupid. It's like, I feel like you guys just want this woman to like mind her own damn business or focus on her own path. For some of you, this woman or one of these women is a Gemini because I keep seeing Gemini energy in this reading too. I'm going to pull one more card. I keep thinking I'm going to pull one last card and then I just want to keep going. Plus, I really like this deck. Thank you again, Crest Moon Tarot. I'm really enjoying this deck. And I'm sorry, you guys. I know I sound like super nasally. <laughs> I'm coming down with a cold. It sucks. Two of Swords. Okay, this just kind of flew out. And I'm actually going to take this because I saw this card pop out earlier and it drew, drew my attention and I put it back in the deck and it just came out again. So I'm going to take the two of swords and I think this is nine of cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yet. Yeah. Two of swords and nine of cups. Um, With the two of swords, I feel like you guys just really want um peace. You want a peace of mind. I feel like you guys just wish that this this person or this group of people would just stop so that you can have a peace of mind. Um, so don't let these people win because that's what they want. They don't want you to have peace in your life. So don't let them win. This is also a card about decisions. I feel like they're trying to make you guys second guess yourself or make you guys feel like you're making the wrong decision about something. Um, this is also a card about uh, being prejudiced. Um, so this woman or this group of people may be prejudiced against you in some way. Yeah, they want to make you guys indecisive on um, what you're doing in life or who you're becoming or how you're making your money. They want you guys indecisive about what you're doing. But it's like, <laughs> it's not working though. Not with the Nine of Cups. I feel, like, I feel like this is the one of the women or the little chihuahua woman trying so hard to raise hell, trying so hard to raise hell against your your uh, nine of cups, but it's not gonna work because yeah, you're gonna be very fulfilled with what you do. I feel like you're already fulfilled with what you do. Um, you find a lot of pleasure and satisfaction with it. Um, they also don't like how generous you are because they don't want to, they don't want to give like you give, or they don't want to be as generous as you. Um, they could be more selfish or more greedy in some way, and they just don't like your generosity towards other people. You guys, if you have any kind of like goal in mind, you are so close to reaching your goal and they're just trying to like block you like fucking Ursula right here. They're trying to block you from your goals, but it's not going to happen. All right, real quick, I actually went to go get my um, my index cards. Let's pull some index cards, you guys. <laughs> Why not? Ooh, stalking. This woman stalks you. And she stalks you with these... Uh, other chihuahuas. See? And they just stay over here stalking you, stalking your coins, stalking your business. Whatever it is you guys are doing, they're fucking stalking it.
heart. They don't like that you have a heart. Remember how a second ago I said you guys are very giving or very generous? They don't like that you have a big heart. Because they got a small fucking heart. Or they don't give as much as you do. Or they're not as like generous as much as you. We have disease. Jealousy is a disease, bitch. Get well soon. Jealousy is a fucking disease. For some of you, this woman may look at you like you're like you're a disease. Like you're a plague or something. This woman's stupid though. Like I said, this woman either has a fucking crush on you. Like I saw down here with the Empress card. Or either she wants to be you. Ooh, for some of you, I just heard this woman may have a crush on the person you had a falling out with in the past. Mm. That might be why um, they are her little loyal chihuahua dog kissing her ass. Because they have a crush on her. <laughs> from With this other woman from your past that you had a falling out with. It's like your gang, and so it's like your gang stalkers have a crush on each other, <laughs> or one of them's got a crush on them. I'm also hearing they um, are jealous or hate the fact that a lot of people love you, a lot of people like you, love you, give you support. Borderline personality. These people may deal with some sort of borderline personality uh, personality disorder. I don't know. That may only resonate for like one or two people. All right, you guys. I'm actually going to try something new. Um, I'm going to use a name generator to generate some random names. And maybe these names can uh, resonate for you guys. So I'm seeing Riley... Mia, Sahara, Claire, Vivian, Sydney, Dixie, Summer, Jenna, Tracy, Kelsey, Haley, Carly, Maisie, Casey, Aria, Carla, Natalie, Laura, Jess, and Missy. Those names may resonate for you, some of you, okay, guys? Um, if you enjoyed this reading, please let me know down below in the comments section. I love and appreciate you guys so much, and I'll see you guys later in another video. Bye.